Hello there, welcome back to this Project Enterprise Java course. So last time we created our very first action and today we're actually going to be um, sort of extending that action to actually work, um, you know, as a login action. So let's go and actually take a look at our action here. So we're going to need and let's think about exactly how we're going to want this to work. So when we actually go ahead and do this, we're actually going to have a validate method. And the way the validate method will work is it will, uh, we're going to have a series of if statements. And essentially, um, let's actually, I think it'll be, it'll be easier to show you this than explain you than explain this to you. So let's actually go ahead and extend, extends action support, which is a built-in struts class. There we go. And essentially what this action support class will allow us to do, first of all, is do at override here on the uh, execute class. There we go. And it'll also allow us to at override the public void validate class. There we go. It'll also allow us to use a constant here. And there we go. So here we're just, you know, using a, in in the action support class. If we actually get go to it, uh, it actually implements action, which actually has this string success here. Just <coughs> this way we can return a final value and not an actually just a string. So yeah. All right, there we go. So now in our validate method, what we're actually going to be doing is we're going to be taking uh, our input that we're actually going to have. Um, you know, that we're actually going to enter so the username and the password. And we're going to be checking to make sure that it actually is correct, that the username, that the user exists, and that the password is correct for the user as well. So essentially to do this, um, we are actually going to be need needing a database, obviously, to check where the user is actually going to be. But first, let's actually go and get input from the user. So to do this, we're actually going to go to our index.jsp file that we created in the, in the last episode. And here we're actually going to have a struts form. So to do this, we just do s form. And to use the uh, s form tag, we obviously need the l's, s library for that. So let's go and actually get the library in here as well. So right here, let's just do uh, percent uh, tag lib tag lib prefix equals s and uri equals slash struts tags. All right, there we go. Okay, and so now we can actually use this s form tag. Let's uh, give it a second here. There we go. Um, and so this s form tag is essentially just a struts form here. Nothing, uh, nothing magical about it. Um, so let's do s form action equals login. All right, there we go. So essentially, the user whenever he enters the URL, he's going to be taken to this page, um, and then here we're going to have a form. Sorry about that. Um, here we're going to have a form that's going to take us to the login page when we enter our credentials. So um, let me actually stop the server here. I just let it running. Um, so in this form, we're actually going to have a S text field. Whoops. Um, why isn't it giving me? There we go. X text S text field, and the key. This is actually the uh, coolest part about struts, something that's really cool. Validation. Validation in struts is actually very, very nicely done. Um, is going to be user.username and uh, the label is going to be username. There we go. We're also going to have an S uh, password field. And the key is going to be user dot password. And the label is going to be password. All right, there we go. 
And then finally, we're going to have uh, S submit. There we go. And here also, we can just do that. There we go. Okay, so essentially here we have um, a struts form, uh, action login, then we have a struts text field in the form. And the key here is going to be the hardest part to understand. The label is just a label. It's actually going to add a label here. So it's actually going to, on, the, on the left of the, uh, of the uh, input. It's actually just going to be username. What, what is wrong with me today? I keep yawning. Anyway, so now we're going to have a text field here. And um, the label is just going to be a label on, on the left. And here the key is actually going to be mapped to the object that we're actually going to have in our action. Of course, we don't actually have this object yet, so let's go ahead and create the object. So let's go ahead and actually do here, create a new package. New package, and let's do, instead of action, we're going to have um, model. There we go, and here we're going to do new class, um, and the class is going to be user. All right, there we go. Okay, here let's do add entity at table name equals um, users. All right, there we go. So now we're actually creating a Hibernate entity called user. And we will later on hook the, actually hook this up to a DAO class. Um, but let's just do here at ID at column uh, name equals ID. Uh, public uh, integer ID. We're going to have it. It's actually going to be private, not public. There we go. Let's import ID and column. All right, now let's make this auto incrementing. So, to make this auto incrementing, if I remember correctly, it's actually going to be at generic generator name equals whoops um, name equals inc oops. We, we, we can re really use any name we want and strategy equals increment and then at generated value generator equals inc all right let's import both of these All right, and there we go. So now we just have an ID here um, for the primary key. Um, in Hibernate, we have the ID, and it's going to be a generated value of, uh, you know, it's just, just going to auto increment. So yeah. All right, there we go. So now that we have that, um, let's go ahead and actually add another column. Uh, the name is going to be um, name. Uh, private string username. All right, and then finally, we're going to do the same thing for password. Uh, private string password. All right, there we go. So here, let's go ahead and actually uh, create getters and setters. There we go. All right. So now that we've done that, yeah, everything seems to be good to go. Um, we can actually go ahead and uh, add a user here to our um, login action. Private uh, user. User. There we go. Okay. So um, what is actually going to happen here when we... Um, submit this index in this index.jsp. So here essentially what's going on is um, we are we have a uh, user.username field in this text field and this text field is then going to be mapped well not mapped assigned to the user.username value inside our action and in our in our in our action we have, where is it, where is it, login action, we have uh, a private user, user, and it's going to access uh, the username, um, the username uh, field, at, or, or attribute 
of the user object. So yeah, so and then it's going to assign whatever we had in the text field to that attribute. So in this case, um, it will be assigned to user dot username. And same goes for password. So it's important to have um, to have the names match. So in user, we have username that matches with what we have um, here, user dot username. So yeah, there we go. All right. So let's actually test this out. Let's make sure that it works. Let's go to our um, right here in our login action. We can actually go ahead and do system dot out dot println user dot get username and then uh, system dot out dot println user dot get user password. There we go. Um, and also don't forget to add getters and setters for this user here. So let's do source generate getters and setters. There we go. All right, and now let's actually run this on server. Uh, give it a second here. All right, there we go. So now let's go to localhost 8080 social network. And there we go. Remember, we don't need to do slash index.jsb because we have it in our welcome file list. So here we can actually go ahead and uh, you can see now how we have username and password um, that we're going to enter. So now let's go and enter the username uh, Bob and the password as 12345. All right, there we go. So now let's go ahead and submit. And you can see it prints Bob and 12345 since um, this is happening right here since it actually uh, what it, what we typed in those fields is getting assigned to the corresponding user field and so then we get this with user dot get username and user dot get password and so that's actually why it is working so yeah um, pretty cool stuff and this is really where uh, struts it actually is does work a little bit better than spring so spring to in order to have this happen it is a little bit more complex and you would probably need to use some kind of a actual um, uh, you, you would need to use some kind of a framework for the front end to, in order for, to have this happen but um, essentially in struts it, it, it provides everything uh, in itself for you so that's that's pretty cool so now that we've done that we can actually go ahead and um, implement our validate method as well but I think we will actually save that for the next lesson. Um, so next time we're going to implement the validate method and uh, perhaps look at possibly um, actually hooking it up, hooking all this up to a database, making sure that works. So we have a lot to do. Um, yeah, good thing there's uh, ample time to do it. Anyway, um, I'll see you next time. Till soon.